In the recent Sub-7 and Sub-8 event, we saw some of the world's best time trialists coming to the help of four triathletes taking on the iron distance record attempts. With such good athletes and their bikes at our disposal, we thought it would be rude not to take a closer look. Joe Skipper came armed with a team of Rebel World Type Pro Cyclists, a team renowned for their time trialing capabilities, clever aero modifications and setups. What can we learn from the best time trial riders? The bikes we're looking at today comes from the British brand Ribble and is ridden by Simon Wilson, but a similar setup is ridden by most of the Ribble World Type team. The frame itself is the Ultra TT, a UCI legal and Torre T800 full carbon fiber monocoque frame. They have pulled upon the expertise of team rider and highly esteemed aerodynamicist Dan Bigham in the research and development of this bike, which has been proven with many record breaking performances. So let's take a closer look at the cockpit. The base bar has a nice taper down towards the bull horns in which Simon has actually opted for a little grip tape towards the rear of the bull horn and a small amount of bar tape at the front of which covers the Shimano sprint shifters, which seems to be a bit of a recurring feature with TT bikes. Coming up from the base bar, all the Ribble riders are using the Watchshop Animoy Aero extensions angled up with the cupped carbon armrests. Whilst these aren't necessarily custom to their arm shapes, they are fairly ergonomically designed along with well-shaped grips and shifters built into them. Running down from those, you may have noticed that they do have an exposed front brake and rim brake for that matter. Yep, they're running the Tri-Rig Amiga Aero brake and I believe some were even running this with the Aero cover too. You'll also notice that he's opted for a tri-spoke front wheel and disc wheel rear. Moving back through the bike and it's no surprise to see these guys running one by setup. Simon is using a cheeky 60 tooth pyramid design chain ring up front linked to an 11 25 tooth cassette on the rear with a watch shop waxed chain. He's also using an SRM power meter on Shimano cranks with the Wahoo Speedplay aero pedals on the end. Interestingly, he's only running an Ultegra rear mech, perhaps down to product availability as many have faced, but with ceramic speed OSPW jockey wheels for some added savings. Something that may surprise you is that he has no frame hydration storage for a 180 kilometer bike leg. Instead, he has the neat Watchshop contraption that holds two Aero Elite Chrono CX bottles behind the saddle, whilst also having a slight fairing effect. However, this wasn't their only source of hydration, as most had hydration bladders down the front of their suits too. Could this be the answer? Finally, he is using the ISM Adamo Attack Saddle, a slightly slimmer ISM split nose design. All in all, the Ribble bikes weighed in between 8.5 and 9.5 kilograms for this particular event and saw them posting the fastest bike splits of the day, covering 180 kilometers and average speed of 55 kilometers. Wow. And don't worry, I haven't forgot the free hub sound check. Here we go. Let us know what you think to this bike and the sub seven and sub eight attempts in the comments section down below. If you'd like to see some other speedy bikes from this event, well, make sure you check out Alex Dowsett's bike that is already on our channel. Remember to hit like and subscribe if you're not already doing so already and click the bell icon to be notified as we release new videos.